Hi everyone, my name is Brad Louster. I'm here to tell you about Bindo. Uh, Bindo is the store next door. Uh, what we are is the Milo for local business. Uh, the reason that we're different from Milo is that we actually process the transactions um, <clears throat> for the orders. Uh, we also offer a full set of tools for local store owners to be able to get their products online in just a couple minutes. Uh, we also help buyers uh, make it so that they can shop at stores locally <clears throat> uh, 24 seven and get their stuff uh, faster and cheaper than they ever could uh, with like an Amazon or an eBay. Uh, the problem that we're solving is that local stores are losing business to large online retailers. Uh, also, um, there's another problem that online shoppers can't find the products they want locally. One, because uh, those local stores aren't selling online, and two, because uh, if they could, then they would have to know the names of the stores or how to find them. And so by focusing on product search, we make it easy. They can come to our site, search for a product, and we tell them the uh, where the local businesses are that have those products. Uh, just real quickly, this is uh, an example of a store profile page, so store owners can uh, real simply just up upload some pictures, put on some information about uh, delivery and pickup hours. Uh, buyers can follow them if they want to. Uh, further down here, they can add some more store information and uh, feature some products. So we'll just scroll down this page. Some more featured products down here. Uh, we also have a feedback mechanism. Um, because we process the credit card uh, transactions for the orders, uh, we can limit the people who can give feedback to people who are actually customers of the business. Uh, for the product page, um, the key here is that uh, we pull the lowest price locally available listing up to the top and uh, down at the bottom you can see uh, some uh, other businesses that sell that same product and they're listed on the map there. Uh, just real quickly about our team, um, I'm here tonight with my co-founder Jason Ahn. Uh, he has a uh, finance background, worked at Magnetar Capital. I am a user experience designer. I've worked at Intel, Stanford University, and LinkedIn. Um, I'm just gonna move along in the interest of time. Uh, because we're a small team, we're focused on just one product vertical, <coughs> excuse me, one vertical right now, and that's uh, pet product stores in New York City. Uh, there are 217 of them. Uh, across the nation, there's over 8,000 of these stores. And, uh, um, uh, across all verticals that we think that might be uh, uh, applicable to work with Bindo, there's um, over 700,000 of these stores and uh, all selling tangible products uh, uh, locally. Uh, our business model is pretty simple. We don't have any setup fees or any monthly fees. We have a uh, commission upon sales, so uh, store owners only pay us if they make money with us. Um, we, some of the money that we take goes back into customer loyalty and we do that because we want customers to actually buy the products through us rather than going to the local stores directly. Uh, so we give them some money to encourage that behavior. Uh, we think there's a number of other potential, <coughs> excuse me, revenue streams. Uh, and uh, the most interesting one to me is business intelligence. We think that there's a lot of opportunity for us to be able to tell uh, both store owners and distributors information about what products are trending and why they are. Uh, this is a really quick, simplistic example, but uh, given 20,000 orders um, and an average order size of $50, uh, that gives us a million dollars. We take $38,000, $15,000 of that goes back to uh, our loyalty programs, and we get $23,000, um, which is lower than our monthly burn rate right now. I'm um, sorry, that's higher than our monthly, monthly burn rate right now. Uh, and this is achievable with about 100 stores doing about seven orders a day, so uh, we think that's totally achievable. Uh, in a short time frame. Uh, we have a lot of ideas around marketing. Uh, currently, we're visiting stores in person. Uh, we're building tools to make that process, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, a lot more self-serve. Um, on the buyer side, we think that the Google products integration is gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, so if you don't know, Google products recently added a zip code filter to their product search, and so um, we can push the products from our site onto Google products and get free advertising for our retailers. Uh, competition, there's um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of businesses working in this space. Uh, none of them are doing exactly what we're doing. Uh, you can see a lot of them are focused on just service industry stuff. Uh, we uh, know uh, only what's publicly available about Milo, but we've seen that they're kind of focused on big box only. Um, other, other players are kind of doing aggregation only stuff. Uh, milestones. Uh, we have our MVP built. We have five store, uh, seven stores actually now currently ready to go. Um, we're going to launch on National Pet Owners Day, which is April 18th. Um, we plan to expand partnerships and get an office. Uh, we're currently entirely self-funded. We're raising $500,000 for uh, key hires in New York here. 
um, infrastructure and office space. Uh, that's Bindo. Thank you very much. How the a how the product get delivered to the to the customers, and I also want to understand the the impact and costs on the for, for the pricing purposes for the store. I mean, who's swallowing up all these extra costs now? And do they remain competitive with the online retailers <coughs> with your commission plus everything else? Right. Uh, so okay. So for the. Uh, so for the commission part, um, where our our commission is only three point eight percent. That we've talked with over hundred pet stores, and and no one has ever balked at that number. Um, they uh, really, I heard all of them really want to be selling online, and they know that they should be, and so uh, they're they're willing to swallow that cost. I'm sorry, what was the first well, part of your question? How does people how do people oh, how to get how to get delivery? Um, yeah, so, so the orders come through us. We pass on the orders to the local stores for fulfillment. Um, and all of the stores that we're working with now already have free local deliver same day delivery set up. They, that's already in place for them. It's part of their regular business. Do you allow for like scheduling of delivery? I mean, how does, is it up to the store then? Or but the, yeah, the, the store handles that just like they do handle setting up delivery times today. How do you deal with managing the inventory? Yeah, uh, the, the inventory is kind of tricky because, uh, as you probably know, um, a, a lot of local stores actually don't even track their delivery. So uh, what we've done is made it so that uh, store owners can say that, oh, uh, I sell this product and just keep it always in stock on your site, basically. What we've heard from store owners is that they've said that they would actually, if they ever got an order for something that they didn't have in stock, they would actually just go out and buy it somewhere. And because I because I'd rather keep the sale than 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 lose the sale. So 